Hello everyone, um, it's Kasvin here again. Uh, so I'll be taking you through what we did um, last week at Web3 Bridge Code 7. Uh, this is my week 8 review. And um, this week we basically focused on front-end implementation and how to interact with um, our smart contracts uh, using vanilla JavaScript. So um, last week we worked on two things. Uh, first of all, we, we learned how to use JavaScript to um, connect to the blockchain uh, with Ethers.js and um, using um, providers and signers as well. So um, in class, uh, uh, we implemented that and we were able to fetch a token from um, the Goeli network and all of that. So, but we're given an assignment to deploy uh, uh, some number of tokens and um, fetch them from the blockchain. And also we should be able to click on the token and send it to any address we want. So uh, what you're seeing on my screen right now is um, my own implementation of uh, what we were asked to do. So uh, I'm loading this page and let's wait for it to load. So I created three tokens. One is MBJ gas, Piggy gas, and Degen gas. So what I did here, you see, uh, my wallet is already connected. So let me disconnect this wallet from here and see what happens. All right, so I'm going to disconnect now. And so what I did here is I ensure that once you open this DAP, it uh, requests that you connect your wallet automatically. So that way it's able to get the balance of token you have in your wallet. So as you can see now, um, let's wait for Metamax to come up. All right, so I'll click on next, click on connect. So once you do that, um, yeah, you should return um, a list of tokens you have your, in this, yeah. So we have piggy gas. So I have um, 9999900 piggy. I have the gen gas. I also have MBJ gas and all of that. So and you see it's returning my, my address here. All right, so now if I click on piggy gas, it takes me to this part where I'll have to send piggy gas. So, and if I go back here and click on the gen gas, it takes me here where I have to send the gen gas. If I click on MBJ gas, it takes me to here where I'll send MBJ gas. So now I want to test this guy by sending 1000 um, the gen gas to uh, another address. So I'll go here and I'll get this address. Um, let's wait for it to come up. Uh, you will be fast. Metamax, stop wasting my time. All right, so I'm getting this address and I'm going here. So I'm clicking on Degen Gas. So I want to send 1000 Degen Gas and the receiver is this address. So I'll click Send. Let's wait for Metamax to come up. You know, sometimes Metamax used to do like what I don't know. All right, so Metamax didn't mess up this time. Thank God. All right. All right, so yeah, Metamax came up and it's from what you're seeing here, 1000 DEG. So I'll confirm this transaction right away and let's wait for it. All right, so, so it, it uh, gives an alert that transaction is pending and it has already logged the hash of the transaction here. So let's wait for it to see what happens next. Uh, so right now, here it has been changed to sending. So let's wait for this transaction to be uh, added or mined on the blockchain. So Metamark is supposed to give us a response once this transaction is done. Or we can click here to see the status of the transaction on Metamax. All right, so this transaction is done. So 
All right. So now this button has changed back to send. So if we go back to tokens, let's reload uh, and see what happens here. All right. You see now we have um, we have nine 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 nine. Sorry, we have nine 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 uh, Dejen gas and all of that. So let's confirm this thing on. Etherscan. So I'm going to check the address we send that token to on Etherscan. So let's say Goeli, uh, Goeli Etherscan, and let me paste the address we sent the token to here. Uh, let's see what's happening. All right, so uh, let me reload this guy again. So let's see. So you see, we have one thousand degen gas here, right? We have one thousand degen gas here. So. Let's see, you have 20. So, on that, you have 20 token transaction. You see, one minute ago, this is the transaction here and all of that. So, uh, this was one of the stuff we did uh, last week. So, I can make this bigger and turn it into an amazing crypto wallet and just modify the UI and all of that. So, that makes sense. So, the second thing we worked on, um, remember the smart contract we did uh, uh uh, uh, in week seven that we were asked to um, build uh, or write five different smart contracts. So the to-do contract I, I did, we also interacted with it using JavaScript, like we built the front end for it. And this is uh, my own implementation of the whole thing. I had to uh, rework on the UI. So um, if, if you if you put a to-do here, add a to-do description and add it, it will automatically be added to this list. So uh, the reason why we have a lot of to-dos here is because it was uh, my contract that was used for the practicing class. So uh, the rest of my colleagues also connected to it and interacted with it as well. So I will do a little test here. So this uh, contract was deployed on Reiki B testnet. So I'll have to change my MetaMask back to Reiki B. So to avoid um, uh, meta max misbehaving, so I'm going to change back to Ricky B, and here we go. All right, so I'm on Ricky B now. So let's uh, interact with this guy. So the last stuff we have here is Word. The grace of the Lord is upon me. So let's go here. I'll say um, weekly video. Uh, on the description, I said making a video of interaction. So I'll click add. So let's wait for MetaMax to come up. So MetaMax is up. I'll just confirm this transaction. All right, so this transaction is in progress. So let's wait for it. Uh, let's look at MetaMax to see what's happening here. Okay, the transaction has been done successfully. So you see the UI has been updated. So let's scroll down and see. And here we have our to do. So weekly video uh, and we have making a video for, of interaction. So um, I can go ahead and edit this. I can go ahead and toggle the status to either uh, to make it done or undone. And I can delete. Uh, you know, obviously, you don't really delete from the blockchain. But when you do this, you just the way this um, smart contract was done is 
we have an array where all these to do uh, stuffs are being pushed into so if you delete it only changes the the um the value of what you have in an array to the default value so for uh, a string it changes it to uh, an empty text so uh, let's do a quickly recap of what we did last week so last week we we uh well, learned how to use ethers.js. We um, interacted with the blockchain using ethers.js. We also learned about providers and signers. So providers basically helps you to interact with the blockchain if you want to fetch uh, data, like if you want to do a read operation from the blockchain, you understand? So you use providers where you have to make use of your JSON ROPC. ROPC simply means um, remote procedure call. So you make use of your ROPC, uh, which is one of uh, the things the, uh, guys like uh, Morales, Alchemy, and Infura do. They help you connect to a blockchain you node know, to read data and all of that. Then whenever you want to write to the blockchain, that's where the, the, the use case of a signer comes in because you need to use your wallet to sign a transaction because your wallet uh, gives uh, uh, holds the private key uh, of your EOA. That's an externally owned account. So with that, you can sign a transaction uh, making that transaction um, authentic that is coming from someone and all of that. So we also worked with Tailwind CSS for the UIs and uh, that, and we also worked with vanilla JavaScript. So this is just uh, a quickly, uh, uh, so sorry, this is just a, a quick breakdown or rundown of what we did last week. And uh, next week, we are also going to continue with the front end interaction, but we'll be moving from vanilla JavaScript to React.js. Thank you very much for staying around. Peace out.